Welcome to Math Window. Solve the prime solutions of this equation. a squared then plus b squared then plus c squared is equal to 294. How should we solve it? You should pay attention to the left hand side. The left hand side is a cyclic symmetry formula. That means, first, we should sort a, b, and c. So I'm going to suppose a is greater than or equal to b, and b is also greater than or equal to c. First, we have sorted. Of course, you can also sort that c is the greatest and a is the smallest, or b is the greatest, a is the smallest. It's up to you, not me. Of course, we have analyzed the left-hand side. Now, it's the turn to the right-hand side. Because a, b, and c are all prime numbers, and then this number, not special, 294. It is a very nice number for us. If it is on the right hand side of this equation. Of course, you should notice that 294 is an even number. Now the sum of a squared and b squared and c squared is even. a, b, and c are all prime. That means there are only two cases. The first case, an even number, of course, it can be written as the sum of three even numbers. So that means a squared, b squared, and c squared are even. So in this case, the sum of three even numbers is equal to an even number. That means a squared, b squared, and c squared are all even. So we can get a, b, and c are even. Since these three guys are all prime and they're even, there's only one even number which is prime. That is 2. That means a, b, and c all should be equal to 2. Therefore, a is equal to b equals c and they're equal to 2. If a is equal to b equals c is equal to 2, that means a squared and plus b squared and plus c squared, the left hand side, is equal to 3 times 4, that is 12. It is not equal to 294. It is wrong. Of course, we also have another case. An even number can be equal to the sum of two odd numbers and another even number. That means odd plus odd and then plus even. It is equal to even. But now we can decide which is even. Since a, b, and c are all prime numbers, and there's only one even prime number, it is 2. 2 is not only an even number which is prime, it is also the smallest prime number. So pay attention to here. We suppose that, and now we can get it easily. 2 is equal to c, or c is equal to 2. a squared, then plus b squared, and then plus 2 squared is 4. That means a squared plus b squared it is 294, and then minus 4, it is 200. 90. How should we solve it? Now, because we have supposed that a is always bigger than or equal to b. So, a is greater than or equal to b. That means a squared is greater than or equal to b squared, since they are prime. So then, we can get write this b squared instead of this a squared, and therefore, b squared plus b squared, it is smaller than or equal to 290. So now, 2 times b squared is smaller than or equal to 290. It's smaller than or equal to 
145. Sound is inequality. B is smaller than or equal to 12. Since B is also prime, so we have to find the prime numbers which is smaller than or equal to 12. Of course, that is very easy. 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11. Because this is under the second small case, and we got that C is equal to 2 and it is even. So B has to be odd. B cannot be equal to 2. 3? No. So 3? No. 5? You can find out it easily and there's no solutions. 7? No. But if you try 11, you can find out that if B is equal to 11, an A has to be 13. Because A squared is equal to 169 and A is equal to 13. A, B, C is equal to 13, 11, 2. This is under the second case. Don't forget that this solution is under this big case. We supposed A is the biggest, C is the smallest. If you suppose B is the biggest, A is the smallest, and there is another answer. There's another pair of solutions. In total, there are six pairs of solutions. Together? And don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye.